quickly dismiss their feelings. Avoid saying things like, you ray just being dramatic or it is not a big deal. Example, your child comes home upset about a disagreement with a friend. Instead of dismissing their feelings, listen attentively and empathize with their emotions. Say something like, I can see you ray upset. Tell me what happened. Don't he criticize their interests. Avoid belittling or mocking their hobbies, passions, or interests. Example, your child is excited about a new video game they enjoy. Instead of making fun of it, show interest and ask them to explain what they like about it. Don't he compare them to others. Avoid making comparisons to siblings or other children, as it can create feelings of inadequacy. Example, don't he say, why can't he you be more like your sister? Instead, appreciate their unique qualities and encourage their individuality. Don't he invade their privacy, respect their boundaries and avoid snooping through their personal belongings. Example, if your teenager has a diary, avoid reading it without their permission. Trust is essential in maintaining a healthy parent-child relationship. Don't ignore their achievements. Acknowledge and celebrate their accomplishments, no matter how small. Example, if your child brings home a good grade on a test, take a moment to praise their effort and hard work. Don't impose your dreams on them. Allow them to pursue their interests and passions, not just what you want for them. Example, if you always wanted to be a doctor but your child is more interested in art, support their artistic endeavors without pushing them toward medicine. Don't make promises you can de keep. Avoid saying things like, we may go to the amusement park next week. If you are not certain it will happen. Example, if you can't make it to the amusement park as planned, explain the situation honestly and reschedule the outing. Don't use guilt as a weapon. Avoid phrases like, if you loved me, you would do this for me. Example, your child wants to spend the weekend with friends instead of visiting relatives. Instead of guilting them into coming, respect their desire and find another time to visit family. Don't be overly controlling. Give them some freedom and autonomy to make age-appropriate decisions. Example, if they want to try a new extracurricular activity, let them explore it rather than immediately dismissing the idea. Don't prioritize work over them. Balance your professional life with spending quality time with your children. Example, if your child has a school performance, make an effort to attend rather than canceling last minute due to work commitments. Don't use hurtful language. Avoid insults name-calling, or harsh words that can leave lasting emotional scars. Example, in a heated argument, refrain from saying things like, you raise so stupid or I wish you were never born. Don't be overly critical. Offer constructive feedback instead of constantly pointing out their mistakes. Example, if they made a mistake on a project, Provide guidance on how to improve rather than just telling them it is not good enough. Don't push your beliefs onto them. Respect their right to form their own opinions and beliefs. Example, if they have different religious or political views than you, engage in open conversations rather than trying to convert them to your perspective. Don't neglect their emotional needs. Pay attention to their emotional well-being and be there for them during tough times. Example, if they are going through a difficult period, be available to listen and provide support, even if it is just a hug. 
Don't you play favorites? Treat all your children fairly and avoid showing favoritism. Example, if you have more than one child, avoid praising or giving privileges to one child while neglecting the others. Don't you be dismissive of their opinions. Respect their thoughts and encourage open communication. Example, if your child expresses an opinion about a family decision, don't you dismiss it just because they're younger. Consider their input. Don't you be passive aggressive. Address conflicts directly and communicate openly. Example, if you ray upset about something, Talk about it calmly instead of making sarcastic or passive-aggressive remarks. Don't use money or gifts as a replacement for love. Express affection and spend quality time together. Example, don't try to buy their affection with gifts when what they really need is your time and attention. Don't shame them for their mistakes. Encourage a growth mindset and view mistakes as learning opportunities. Example, if they fail at something, don't you shame them for it. Instead, discuss what they can learn from the experience. Thank you for watching, and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay connected with us.